Hello, this is a Lockthon Plays, and I wanted to do a video on all the different objects you can buy with Quicksilver and what you can do with them. Um, I did one on gestures and emotes, which I think is already uploaded to YouTube, which I will uh, put a link to in the description, and it should also be uh, in the playlist. But you also can buy a bunch of flora, and so I put some of the flora that you can build here and I did it in three ways so on each of these the one on the left is the default size of that flora the next one is as small as it goes and the next one is as large as it goes so let me zoom out a little bit to show you how big some of these can get I have them all done in the default green, uh, which was a bad choice given that I'm on a blue world. But um, So you have three trees, which default size is two or three times as tall as a player character. Uh, you can get them as small as like waist size and then gigantic, like the size that they normally show up on a planet. So again, two or three times, four times the height of a character, little tiny, and then huge. And again, default size, little tiny and huge. Then you have three of the smaller plants. So this is the default size here. Then it gets little tiny, and again, monstrously huge. Default, tiny, tiny, and monstrously, monstrously huge. And then the corn, this is the default size, this is as small as it gets, and then this is monstrously huge. So to name all of these, let's get in the sun so we can see things a little bit better. So for the trees, we have a fruit tree, we have a spindle tree, this is the, sorry, the tall, skinny one. Oops. And then the evergreen. I'm particularly fond of the evergreen because it's easy to put colored lights up in those leaves and that makes them really cool. I also wanted to show when you build these that you can change their colors. So let's go to a fruit tree and instead of the default green let's go to say the white and orange. So when you do that the leaves are white and the bark is orange. So if you made one black and yellow, then the bark would be yellow and the leaves would be black. And you can do that with all of these. So let's go back to the spindle tree, black and orange, I'm sorry, black and yellow. So again, you have yellow uh, bark and black leaves. And if you go into the smaller plants, here we have the carnivorous bush. That one, oops, I lost the sun. Um, let's go into photo mode, get the sun back. Oh, that's not helping. Dang it, I lost the sun. Really? I guess it's over there. Give me the clouds. There we go. Okay, so the leaves are black. The, 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 the bark isn't really yellow, but you can make it into more interesting colors like, like uh, blue and orange. And so the leaves are a lot bluer. Then if you go to the dwarf plant, we're still in blue and orange. So the leaves are blue and the bark is kind of whitish, but it's, the, the leaves are blue at least. And then, for whatever reason, my favorite thing to do this with is the corn. Um, this is the blue, so the corn itself is uh, uh, blue and the uh, bark or the leaves are orange. I like to make, sorry, I like to make these, this color here, with the purple on the outside and the yellow on the inside. For whatever reason, I get a big kick out of this. So the corn is purple and the leaves are yellow. 
So those are the main foliages that you find on lush planets. And then here in a second I'll delete all of these and then I will go into the sail palm, the globe tree, and the rock garden. And then maybe I'll go into water and do a barnacle for you. So hold on. Okay, so now we have some of the other biome plants here. First we have, oops, um, the sail palm. This is the normal size, this is as small as it goes, and that's as big as it goes. Then we have the globe tree. I like this one because it has the moving globe at the bottom. Normal size, as small as it goes, and as large as it goes. And then we have a rock garden here. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, that's the normal size. That's as small as it goes, and then that's as, as, as big as it goes, with a light up there. And again, I've been changing the colors on these a little bit. If we go to a sail palm, let's make this one black and orange. Um, hang it, we keep on losing the sun. So that inside of the leaf is black, and then the bark is sort of orange on the globe tree let's choose blue and orange the leaves are blue kind of dark blue and the bark is orange and then on the rock garden let's do it on the big one here because this one's a little bit harder to see let's make this red so the leaves are red and then i don't know what's white and if it's the light let's see if we go over nope that light's I don't know what ends up being white on that. Is it? But yes, you can change the, the colors on these as well. So let me zoom out a little bit so you can see just how big these things get. With, again, the ones on the left are the standard size, the ones in the middle are as small as they get, and the ones on the right are as big as they get. And now I'll go, I haven't done a barnacle before. I will go down into the ocean and do a barnacle for you and let's see what that looks like. All right, so now we're underwater and we have the barnacles. This one is the normal size. Let's put something of a standard, something that you would recognize here so you know how big this is. There we go, save, begin for scale. So this is the normal size. That's the small size, and then this is the large size. These are kind of tough to see. I turn the light off. The color that you choose is what is reflected here. So let's delete this one and put down another one. Decorations, foliage, barnacles. Let's make this a little bit bigger. So that right is there's yellow. If we change it to black, this only seems to change the inside the water upwelling, and it's kind of tough to tell how that changes uh, until you actually put it down. So this is a little bit hard to to, oops, to demonstrate. Um, so I recommend that you play with barnacles because they're a lot of fun and if you glitch build you can put them above water but glitch building is a whole nother topic that uh, uh, has been covered better by people who are better video makers than me so now I will go on to some other things that you can build with Quicksilver uh, in the next little segment okay I've set up some other base building things here First we have the ter terrarium. This is not able to be scaled and you can't change the color. This is the reality generator. Uh, and again, it can't be... Wait, can this be scaled? I'm sorry, I don't remember. I... Where is it? I'm pretty sure that's under... Here we go. No, that cannot be scaled. However, if you walk up to it... Oh, I, th I thought you could activate it make it bigger. Okay, well, that's that's the pocket reality generator. Then we have the curly coral. This can be scaled, so this is the standard size. That's as small as it gets, and that's as big as it gets. Then we have some crystals.
That's the standard size, that's as small, and that's as big. And then we have the candelabra bloom. And I have to admit, this is my favorite object that you can buy with Quicksilver. And that's because it gives off so much light. You can't even see the little tiny one in there. Um, uh, and then that's as big as it gets. And then you have the aquarium. The aquarium cannot be colored, and it can't be scaled. I mentioned the color because these things, the curly coral, the crystals, and the candelabra bloom, can have color applied to them. So let me to demonstrate that really quick. I think those are under adornments. Yep, so we have the curly coral here. And right now it's set to be blue and white. And that's because when it's when the interior color is white, the coral is the standard default color. But if you change the color, you can see that that changes. And so here we have it as teal and uh, orange. Um, if you go to the crystal, the aquatic crystals, this can be changed to color too. However, the colors are so funky it's actually kind of tough to tell what it does. <laughs> so that's purple and yellow. So that swirl is sort of purple and that's sort of yellow. But the easiest one to tell is the candelabra, candelabra bloom, which one of these days I'll be able to pronounce. And here, the interior color is the actual color of the light, and then the outside color, the blue, is the color of the base. And so here, you can get a nice white light. But if you put it in a different color, then you get... Oops, I'm out of cyanophosphate. Let me delete these, because they all use cyanophosphate. Um, then you can see that the bulbs are yellow or orange, but the light it gives off is still white. I use these a lot, and I use them a lot in glitch building, because they make great lanterns. This is a bad example, but let me show you how this works on a side here. Let me go into the build. Let me go into the building camera. I choose a place where it builds. I'll change it to blue. And then, if you hit build, and you get the pow the the wire there, you can build it on the sides of things. Oops. And a lot of people will use these as actual candelabras. They'll build them on ceilings, which I like to do a lot. Dang it, I'm having problems with my ability to function. Don't mind me, it's the holidays. So those are some of the aquatic type things. And next I'll get into the statues. Do note that the terrarium does have one of these little blob creatures who uh, uh, crawls around the whole thing. And also note that the reality generator, as we get close, gets quite loud. So you heard that sound that it makes? Let me bring it back. Some like the sound, some don't. It's just up, up to you. So now we have the statues. Doo -doo, those are under adornments, and there's a whole bunch of them. I'm not going to demo them all, because there are a bunch of them. But just as an example, the astronaut statue, the, the different... Uh, um, the gold one is a little bit bigger than the silver, which is a little bit bigger than the bronze. But as all of these uh, go, you can change the size. So let's go find the Diplos, because that seems to be everyone's favorite. Let's get a gold D Diplo. This is the standard size. If we shrink it down, it can get pretty tiny. And I have a lot of fun uh, hiding these statues in and amongst plants but I'm just weird that way, I think. And then this gets to be so big that you can use it as statues outside of buildings. 
Oops, it turned red because it's encroaching on the one next to it. Don't worry about that. I'll fix it in just a second. Big, 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 big. There we go. So if I back up here, you can see that that is actually really quite large. Tiny, medium, and large. So all of the statues get to be pretty much that size. Okay, what else do we have in the build menu? Statues, we have ships, we have the walkers, we have the atlas stations. And these are all the things that you can buy. Yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, we have a holographic globe, uh, uh, which I wanted to build. It's very small, you can't size it, but when you select it, it gets bigger. Also, listen. Some people find that noise annoying. Then there's this expanding cube, which again, you can't uh, make bigger or change the color of. And this also has a sound to it. What else do we have? We have the little robotic guy. Let me delete everything else so we can make sure we're getting the right sounds. I'm starting to lose my voice. So this guy, you can change the color on this one. You change the color of the base. I don't think you change the color of the little guy flying around. No, you don't. The thing I like it about this though, is you can glitch build this guy too. Or even without glitch building, you can put him on the sides of things. And if I run underneath here, where are my stairs? You can put it on the ceiling. So then he'll it'll circle around wherever you want. I actually put this in and amongst my uh, hydroponic bays and so it looks like there's something uh, uh, tending my my plants. I enjoy doing that. Okay, so what else is there? There's those three. These are all things that you can buy or get automatically. Doo, doo, doo. I think that's everything. So, um, I hope you find these uh, videos useful. I've seen a couple people on the Discord wonder why on earth you would spend time doing the, the, the Quicksilver missions. And this is why. If you're a base builder, you can get some really cool things. And especially with this stuff, that you can make it um, bigger and smaller. You can do some really neat stuff. And I'll throw a couple of screenshots in here of how I've used them and also put a screenshot or I'm sorry a link to a base that I built that has a bunch of this stuff that's uh, used to decorate it. So uh, again thank you very much for watching. I'm above 70 subscribers now which just blows my mind. I was surprised when I broke 10 to be honest. So um, thank, thank you for subscribing and happy holidays and have a good new year.